Good morning, everyone. My name is Elganesh, and I am second year CSC. And I'm now doing an activity called Celebrity Interview. And our celebrity is none other than our beloved Josh. Hello, ma'am. Hello, Ganesh. Um, shall we start, ma'am? Yeah, you can. Uh, ma'am, my first question is, when do you enter your professional career? My professional career has started in this college in the year 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, I started my teaching in Lendi College. So this is my first year of teaching and I'm a fresher. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Next. And second question, ma'am. Yes. What made you passionate in choosing English priority? English, um, I think from my childhood, I love English. Maybe because of my school teachers, I don't know. But yes, mm -hmm. from a very young age, I used to love English. Uh, maybe because my family members are all uh, with English backgrounds. And they are in some or the other way are English trainers to others. So maybe because of that, I started being passionate in English language. Mm -hmm. Is there any language um, like this? And they, which you like most? Is there any language rather than English? Sorry? Rather than English, is any there is any another language you like? Other than English? Uh, I think... Yeah. I think it is uh, Spanish. Spanish or Chinese? Yes. Oh. Okay, ma'am. I'm looking forward to learn Spanish or Chinese. Oh. Okay. I think even you guys might have a crush on Chinese dramas and Korean dramas, right? No, no, no. I don't have any. Yes. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Nothing like that. No. <laughs> okay. Um, next question is, so what do you feel is your biggest achievement? Um, till now, I don't think I have any achievement. But mm -hmm. from now on, if my student is um, going out of his graduation with flying colors, then it is obviously my greatest achievement. Okay. My next question is, like you inspired us, is there any, any person who inspired you? Of course, uh, my family is my inspiration, my sole inspiration. Uh, above mm -hmm. all, my uncle, who is an elder brother to my father, is my mm -hmm. inspiration because he's, he's the best teacher that I've ever seen in my life. Yes. Mm -hmm. He inspired me a lot to teach others. Oh. Mm. And this is the big task, ma'am. How do you manage your both pro personal and professional career? I haven't learned, <laughs> but I'm still in the process of learning how to manage both professional and personal life. Um, mm -hmm. You know, kind of. When I have weekends, then I manage my personal life. When I have my uh, weekdays, I go on with my professional life. So it depends on how your family actually understands you. You know, uh, based on that understanding, you can make sure you balance both your professional and personal life. That's my man. That's right. Special talents in any other fields? Oh, yeah. Um, I play badminton. Um, I love oh. swimming. And I was a zonal player when I was in school back. I was a throw ball zonal player for my school. Yeah. Wow. I played on behalf of Cotex Relations School. Wow. That's nice. Man. Yes. My next question is, how would you handle a difficult student? Like, um, difficult student. Uh, yes. So how do you say, how do you define a difficult student? Is it um untrainable or 
can be trainable but doesn't uh, listen to others like an untrainable student yes like an untrainable student untrainable student first things first um, a teacher must be able to study the psychology of a student because without knowing the actual thought process or the perception of the student uh the teacher cannot go forward and do anything to you know create a progress in the student's uh, education or academics so if he is a difficult student then i'd rather you know spend much time in understanding the psychology of the student first what he expects from the teacher or what is his nurture background um how did he you know how did he grow up in what environment has be, has he been grown up you know mm -hmm. all these actually matters uh, when a person um, is untrainable in their academics yes so me being a psychology uh, student uh, in my uh, degree i prefer studying the psychology of the student first and then proceed to any other requirements i need to give that student oh that's nice man that's a, your favorite man Oh no, <laughs> not at all. Next question is: How would you motivate students? How do you motivate students? Um, every student has a different personality, so every student has a different way of being motivated. So, if there is a class of sixty members, all sixty are not the same, and they cannot be motivated in the same manner. Um, if they, you know. like movies then they can be motivated in a dramatical or a cinematical way of motivation and if they love sports then they can be motivated through um different famous players and if they like, they can be actually be motivated with sweet cute words from a teacher with a warm uh, welcoming words from a teacher they can be motivated too so the different kinds of motivation uh, that a teacher can give to different kinds of students so nice. there's no particular way of me telling how i can motivate my students i can be sweet and warm to them if i want to motivate them that is all yes ma'am thank you so you tell me how, how did i motivate you to me be becoming a celebrity for you you motivated me like when our internal labs are going on on the day you you meet me and uh, you said that ganesh you have a talent how you can speak but you are afraid of uh, speaking and telling like that with warm and like that that how i inspired okay. you hmm see that is one kind of motivation <laughs> yes, yes ma'am my next question is tell me about uh, tell me about a time when you worked with a team to solve a problem yes um i wasn't a team lead but i used to play throw ball on behalf of my school so when i was in a team and when uh, anybody in the team felt low or depressed or sad uh i used to make sure i treat them with something they like I can say mostly girls used to like chocolate or some sweet. So yes. I used to share them up with those kind of sweets in school, and they used to be happy. I used to say that it is for our um, you know benefit that we are actually going and winning the cup there. In future, we can actually tell all the success achievements. Um, you know, when you meet other new people. So oh, that is the way I used to motivate them when I was in the team. And we used to have fun in the team, basically. So it was nice. By your saying, the by your sayings, I know that.